Hello everybody, it's PureFX here, and today I am going to be showing you guys a tutorial about how to make a banner for Mac and Windows on Cinema 4D and Photoshop. So, um, I don't know how fast or slow I'll be going with this, but I'll try to get it as detailed as I can for beginners. So. What you want to do first is you obviously want to get a rig. So I recommend the FMR 5.0. It's probably the best one you can get for free. So you want to get that and you'll end up getting this FMR 5 LIB 4D. You want to drag that in and you'll get this window and you'll click on that and then this will come up. So what you want to do next is you can just play around with the um the controls so the controls will be right here right here right here and right here that you mostly want to use those are um used for controlling the arms and legs so like a pose is easy you can do whatever you want you don't have to do much with the bottom um of the banner uh the bottom of the um guy because it will not really matter if you want to do a half body thing in the banner so you just want to end up with a pose i recommend using these things this right here and then this and what you want to do with this you want to click the rotating tool and you want to drag it over here and then maybe drag it back. And then you can just use these two tools, the, um, the move tool and the rotating tool to make a cool pose. So um, if you wanna add a sword or any weapon, what you wanna do is you wanna click on this, FMR 5.0, and you wanna scroll down and you wanna hit and you get to these tools. What you want to do, you want to see what hand it's on. So this is the right one. And you want to put any sword that you want in. So this is just an iron sword. And um, you can play with the head a little. Don't use this tool at all for the head. Just use the rotating tool because if you do that, it will go crazy and stuff like that so yeah um you can just do whatever you want with this so i'll just do this and so that seems good okay okay so that's just pretty much a beginner's um, render. Seems easy enough. If you have any questions in the comments, please put them in the comments and I can help you um, either adding you in Skype. So what I like to do is I like to take the sword and then go to the move tool and then press T and it'll come up with these cubes and you can resize the sword. I like it a little bit bigger. It just kind of looks cool to me. So make it however big you want. And yeah, okay. So make it bigger if you want. And then um, what you want to do next is you need to save it. And by doing that, you're going to go into here and you want to do, just name it as whatever, whatever you want. So I'll just, render and you'll save it in desktop or however you save it and i recommend desktop and then this is what you need these are my um strip settings what you really need is alpha channel that puts a um um transparent background so you don't have to deal with like taking it all out so then you want to go to output and i save it as 9 19 20 by 1080 and then just seven, 72 for the right 
resolution. It doesn't really matter other than that. And then you want to zoom in, make it bigger. These are the tools to move around. So yeah, but if you maybe want to use a cape, this is the cape button. You can control it by doing this. And if you want to put a bend on it, what you want to do is you want to hit this outline and there will be a yellow dot there. And you just want to drag that around and it will do that. So I'm going to resize this a little so it looks better. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. So yeah, um, let's render it. And if you want a skin in your render, I'm just using the default skin, you'll, you would go here and then download your skin. So you just go into your downloads. I have a bunch of skins. Just get a 1.8 skin. You can download that on like Nova skin or something. And if you want it to be HD like this, you need to download a Lightroom. And I prefer um, for beginners, press graphics free Lightroom. But otherwise I have a um, buyable Lightroom. So you would have to buy the one that I have. So what you wanna do next is you wanna open up Photoshop and you wanna have a banner template. So just look up banner template and um, you need these guidelines for it or else it will probably mess up. And the resolution for this is 260 by, no, 2560 by 1440. So once it's done on rendering, you'll get your render. You wanna drag it into Photoshop and you'll have it right here. What you wanna do is you just wanna resize it so it's in these guidelines like this and it looks very plain so what you want to do is you want to download a minecraft um background a shaders background hd in my opinion so i have a few already downloaded so i'll just use this one that one looks nice so you want to resize that so it's like that and you want to drag it under the tutorial render and um what you want to do with the background you can do this if you want it doesn't really matter you want to go into blur and then you want to go into goth um gaussian blur i don't really know put it at about 2.5 and it will look pretty nice so what you want to do with the tutorial render is you want to go right click on it and do blending options. What you want to do now is you want to hit gradient overlay. Yes, it will look like this, but don't worry. It is perfectly fine and it's what's supposed to do. What you want to do is you want to click on gradient overlay, the letters after you've checked it, and it'll say blend mode. And what you want to do is you want to hit overlay and then make it at about 75. So it will make a nice effect to it. And if you really want to do this, you can do the same thing with inner glow. Just make the size a bit bigger and then do overlay. Um, so it looks pretty nice right now. And you want to add some text. So what you want to do now, I'll just, you want to find a font and I prefer something like code, code bold or something like that and cold light. And then you can just write Steve with the text tool right there. Um, and then what you want to do with that is you want to right click it and then go into blending options and you can make it any color you want. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna go, I'm actually gonna delete this and redo it in a different color. I want it to be the same color as 
my character. So I'm gonna write Steve. I'm gonna resize it a little. And then you go into blending options and a cool thing to do is go into gradient overlay again. And then go overlay. So it has like, it looks darker on the bottom and you can do the same thing as you did just with um, inner glow. And if you wanna go even more than that, turn the opacity down on Satan and it will look pretty nice. And if you wanna add a drop shadow, it makes it look like a little bit more visible. So I'm just gonna do that. And like the text looks kind of plain right now. So what you wanna do is you wanna go over here to the text that you've made and then do rasterize type and don't do this until you're totally finished with the render if you rasterize it accidentally you can always do undo but i'm going to rasterize it and what you want to do is you want to press um command t or um control t for windows and you want to go to perspective you can use these to drag around and it will make a cool effect to it with the perspective. So I'm gonna make a cool, something cool looking. So it looks like that. So you can put this anywhere, uh, but if you wanna go into more detail, you always can like a little with like, you can do a few more things like with the render, you can, duplicate it by doing just duplicate um not delete you just do duplicate it and then just yeah that document and what you want to do now is you want to go to filter filter gallery and you want to find glowing edges it's under stylized and you want to turn down the opacity to about 10 so it has like these nice glowing edges on it um, and you can do a few things with this, like 3D text, and you can, um, duplicate it, put it under that, and you want to zoom in with the zoom tool, and so, um, what you want to do is you need to use the nudge tool, which is just your keyboard. And so I usually just move it around so it will be able to nudge. And then what you want to do is you want to nudge it so it's like that. And then go on to blending options. And you want to take all these away. And you want to maybe accept that. And you want to go into color overlay and you can make it whatever color you want. I prefer gray or a darker version of what you already have. So I would go with that. And so what you wanna do now, I do this. If you don't wanna do this, that is fine. I usually delete the top layer of it. So it's just a little thing that I do. So yeah, um, there's a little bit right there. Okay, so you can be done right now. It doesn't really matter. But if you wanna go into full detail, you can download graphics packs. And I have a few of those. So let's just go and do poison lights. Let's go with this one. And it'll take a bit to load, but it just loads right away. And you have like a bunch of these cool effects like maybe let's go with the first one so the first one's kind of this spiral and if you just if you don't have any of these you don't have to worry about this but this cool spiral can be used for like putting it around the sword like this to make it really look cool and have an effect to it i'm gonna put that over that and that can that's pretty much it. So, but a last detail is to make a new layer and do 
make it fully black and then make a big brush by doing this make it about 500 what you want to do now is you just want to erase it and then make the opacity down so it has a nice vinaigrette so that's pretty much it guys you can go into more detail with this if you need any help please comment in the um description maybe more tutorials will be out i have no idea what i'm gonna do but yeah i'll see you guys later